and a bloody good morning to you too and welcome in for HGV class one vlog with myself Darren where I record Monday to Friday day in the life of a HGV driver vehicle checks are all done just connected to the new trailer shouldn't be too bad today got another day of trailer swaps by the looks of it or at least the first two jobs what I plan for are the trailer swaps so it's pretty much about four miles down the road driving switching trailer coming back to the yard carry on that pretty much most of the day I'll try and show as much as I can on doing trailer swaps. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. I'll try and answer as much as I can. And I'll try and keep it as entertaining as I possibly can as well for you. So let's get some driving on the go, shall we? But before we leave, I've got to load up one pallet to the truck as a return to where we're going. So I thought whilst I'm waiting for the pallet to get loaded, I might as well show you a little bit of the inside of the truck. So this is the MAN, or the M-A-N, depends how you want to pronounce it. And we've got the radio up here, which is all like DABs and stuff. Got sat nav added onto it as well. Um, so a little cup holder normally goes away. And then this is my cradle for the PDA that we use. So I'll just keep that on the side. Otherwise, it's like little cup holders. I try and keep the truck clean as possible. I've uh, got a little camera watching us. I know a lot of people don't like the camera, but it records if there's any accidents or anything. So it protects, protects us as a driver, really. Um, sort of show sure we're not doing anything wrong. A little bit dark here at the moment, unfortunately. There's the man lion. Uh, this is a bump bed as well. So you can unclip these two, like so. And it drops down. So if you do a two man job, you can do um, sleeps two there for you. As you can see, the cabs are really spacious as well. We've got plenty of room. That's my bed that I would normally sleep on. Pretty thick. So it's not too bad, it's quite comfy to be fair. The only downside is that these lights are a little bit intermittent. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately at the moment, they're not working, but we do have a night light for them. So if you have a night light mode, so it goes bright and red, so it's just um, a little bit of light, so it's not too harsh for you. Over here, it's like a little table that I use, so we can either put drinks on, uh, make cups of teas, etc. And also um, I put my chopping board on there when I'm doing my cooking. So that just folds away. So I do apologise, a little bit dark here at the moment. So that's all my bedding. So I'll keep me like spare sheet on there. I've got two pillars and a sleeping bag. And then in this side up here, excuse the mess. Uh, that's all my cooking gear in there, like my chop board, a couple of pans. That's a couple like spices and other stuff. So this is the bracket that I currently use. It's like a little metal aluminium one. And that is to help with the new angle. So I'll just connect it onto there like so, and then you can see it, the camera. I'll show you in a minute. And then over in this one, I've got my electric kettle sorted there. And then they have my cereal bowl and quite a couple of boxes of cereal. I'll just throw them out of the way for now. These two cupboards as well. So one opens out and I keep like my, grab some coffees in there. They're full of pot noodles and other little snacks. And the same for fruit juice. And then this one is a fridge. So I can keep all my dinner nice and cold. Let's move that out of the way. And then got two drawers here. Another jar of coffee. So when I do have milk, I use that coffee instead of the sachets. They're like the backup ones. And then at the bottom, it's just like my cleaning gear and some like tools and stuff. So that is the new camera bracket that I've got so it's like an aluminium bracket so there's three different pieces you can change them to where you'd need them and I've got it that way at the moment and that gives me a good view of the like a bit of the dashboard not too much of the dashboard like here and it shows a little bit of the window and you can see what's outside the window as well it needs a little bit of a wash so do bear that in mind a lot of grit on the road in this cupboard I have my hard hat I've got some cleaning stuff as well that's really good for like cleaning dashboard on the other side got my brush in there and i keep my trainers in there as well so i try and keep it as clean as possible the whole truck i have a piece of wood in there just in case you need it for anything and then on the passenger side flip that switch i'll lift it up and inside here i've got my cooking stove i keep a bottle of water about five liter i've got one or two of these sealed my kettle and got a hoover in there as well so that's the truck on the outside the nemesis so 
So yeah, this is the one I drive, which is always assigned to myself on days. It does get shared with nights as well, but they look after it, so I don't mind. If you're wondering what this is, if you don't drive, that is, uh, that's to just set the suspension so you can raise the, uh, the back wheels and the trailer height. So yeah, this is my truck. If you've got any questions about it, let me know down in comments. And what are your thoughts on the MAN trucks as well? All right, let's get on the road. So the time is now 10 to nine. Loaded up with the two pallets of returns. Let's get that out of the way, don't that. And I've got about a 10 minute drive now to our destination where we're going. It's only in St. Helens down the road. Shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully the camera's not like bouncing around too much for you. Fingers crossed for that. I've got some road works there on the left hand side, which is good. So hopefully I might be able to sneak out. Nope, they're not letting me go. Good. Nice and clear. Now, let me know down in the comments, do you prefer this camera angle or would you prefer it a little bit more back so you can see like the steering wheel and a little bit of myself? Um, I might invest in another camera to be honest with you shortly. So I can have one facing myself and then one facing out the road as well. I've seen quite a few um, trucker vloggers doing that. It's quite a good angle to be fair. But I'm sure you'd rather be looking at the road instead of my mush while I was driving. It always feels weird when another driver's been in your truck. Different seating position and all. It's like now I'm doing 23 miles an hour. Uh, one of my subscribers, he mentioned, I can't remember which one it was at that time, sorry, but it. But it feels like a lot faster because you got a wide angle on. He's right, <laughs> when I was watching it back, I feel like I'm doing like 60, 70 miles per hour through these like little villages, but right now I'm doing 20 miles per hour and it feels a lot faster than 20 on the camera a bit, doesn't it? Let's boot it up for a little bit, get some 30. Big pothole then, bouncing around everywhere. So the job I'm going to now, do a trailer swap. It's only down the road, about four miles or so. And probably about 15, 20 minutes to drive there. So it's not gonna be a long distance job today, I don't think. I was saying that when I checked my scanner, my route's been updated a little bit. I think Mike in the office has changed it around. Um, it only showing one puppies at the moment. So we might be doing something else uh, a little bit later on, who knows. I'm sure it had two puppies on it earlier on. as such just yet I think it might later on but looking at the clouds it is just thick grey clouds don't know when it looks like it's gonna start snowing it has that feel to it in the air now I don't think it will be long before it does start snowing and I do believe it will be snowing this year because I think it's gonna be a bad one this winter being honest we've had quite a rubbish summer really didn't we as well Especially in July time, it was just throwing it down on months, wasn't it? But yeah, the weather outside doesn't look too great, unfortunately. Draws clumping. Let's 
is that tight left turn. You've probably seen this one about 100 times now, haven't you, on this channel, this turn. Take it nice and wide. Weave yourself in between all these parked cars. I've got to say, oh, I do love doing HGV driving as a job. It is good. I would recommend it still to anybody. If anybody out there is in two minds whether to do it or not. It's just, you have the freedom. They'd let me out, aren't they? So you have a lot more freedom when you're doing HGV driving. That like feels the freedom anyway, do you know what I mean? Because you are restricted anyway. You've got to go to like, pick up stuff from A and drop it off at B but you're not stuck in front of a computer all day or you're not stuck in a warehouse all day doing the same mundane things and majority of driving jobs each day is you're driving somewhere different obviously like today i'm doing a lot of trailer swaps again for like the second time this week but i don't mind it it's nice and easy it's not stressful you just crack on with it really just come in crack on with it and go home and you just deal with um, any incidents throughout the day, what may appear. Two pallets dropped off, and a little bit of a change of plan, because Mr. Helios, he's here at the moment. So Helios is like the truck name for the Greek God. So he's here at the moment doing the collections for the trailer swaps. So I think he's got to be doing it all day. Um, my plan now is going to Whiston, near St. Helens area. And then after that, I've got one in Witness as well. 17 pallets from that one and six pallets from the first one. First time being at this one, so I don't know what it's going to be like. So wish me luck. Hopefully it turns out okay. I ain't driving in the middle lane on this roundabout. So just that St. Helens one was quite narrow, the lanes. You have to be careful with your trailer, cutting the corners. You have to keep it, make sure you got all your mirrors checked all over this side. As you can see that top mirror as well, you might be able to see some vehicles popping into it. Lots of blind spots as well, especially that left hand side, that bottom bit. It's a big blind spot around that section, so you got to make sure you always double, triple check your mirrors before moving over to the left, especially on the roundabout. And then you get cars cutting up like this. <laughs> so that was quite close that then, I think the camera might have seen it, you can see my whole mirror, no not my mirror, my whole uh, view of the window screen there, can't you? And how they just cut me up. Pesky drivers eh, pesky drivers. They always got to keep you on your toes don't they? Right, managed to get here from 20 to 10. The traffic was quite clear as well on the motorway. Might be a little bit of a tricky one this to reverse onto because there's no markings on the floor. So if you ever come to somewhere that's got no markings on the floor, try and keep an eye out on the floor to see if there's any indentations of where the trucks have been or any tire markings. So giving it a guess at the moment where that grid is in the far axle yeah, I've got that line in the floor needs a little bit of a marking yeah I'm going to need to shunt forward on this just make sure I don't catch on these little guards go check it make sure it's all right yeah so i know the cab isn't like perfectly straight but in this situation it should be okay because nobody's going on there at the moment the trailer itself is straight and i'll just pull off later on handing in the keys um if it was a tighter bay by the way i probably would have took that shunt to straighten up the cab and the 
trailer because at the moment it's like a little bit of a kink <laughs> but the trailer's straight on the bay and there's loads of space it's about six foot between trailers so they've got plenty of space next door and this side as well so i'll get away with it with uh, a little bit of a kink in the trailer at the moment <laughs> six pallets on loaded nice and quickly so cheers for that guys all secured now let's get over towards witness for our 14 pallets i think i got from there Too sure what's going on here at the moment. Ah, I got a van breakdown. I knew we should have went the other way. Come on, board, why don't you park where the traffic cones are? Oh, I've got an ambulance behind me as well, trying to get through, just seeing it in the mirror, it's about four or five cars behind. And we're all stuck. <sighs> I mean, all the traffic officer needed to do there. Was like move a few cones and park in the middle of it, but then again, I think He's trying to get them onto the other side of the road, isn't it? I don't know if the camera's picking everybody up in the distance. I mean, that van's seen better days, hasn't it? It's full of graffiti. I think he wants to get them to reverse into the roadworks part where there's a bit of a barrier. Looking down, I don't know if there's a van. I've got the graffiti all over it though. I'll be surprised if it's got an MLT. <laughs> This is bats right up onto the M62 at the moment, hasn't it? Right, now the big problem we've got is getting onto the motorway at a good speed because I'm about 24, 25 ton loaded on the back. And it's not got the best acceleration at the moment for this weight. Okay, I'm doing 25. Got a car flashing me. Thank you very much, slowing down, thank you. I'm only doing 30 miles per hour. Ah! I'm glad they slowed down for me. To, <laughs> pretty much came to a stop to let me on the motorway, so thank you very much, Mercedes driver. I've just hit 40 now. Taking its toll there, didn't it, to build its speed back up. Whilst the kettle's boiling, I'd like to do a quick shout out for the sponsor of this video. So, 
www.d for drivers if you're looking for a medical driver medical or an ethical team medical go visit the website www.dfordrivers.co.uk use code darren48 for a nice little discount be about the yard got emptied and now i'm going to witness to collect i think it's 14 pallets but it's most likely looking to be a full trailer worth some of the pallets are like three or four pallet length so it might be a full trailer load now collected from witness and that will get delivered back to Haydock it's currently half past two at the moment so there's a possibility that could be me done after that so who knows I'm hoping because it's Wednesday it's a hump day we're having a good finish time today. We started at eight o'clock though, so even if we do say six o'clock, there's a 10 hours done anyway, so that's not too bad, I'm happy with that. You don't have to do 15 hours every day, you see guys. <laughs> but however, when it does happen, you know, you gotta take the rough and the smooth, haven't you? That's part of the driving, unfortunately. Some days you get stuck in traffic for hours and hours. Some days you don't hit a single bit of traffic like this now, compared to the opposite side of the road, you know what I mean? Yeah, well that's driving for you. Like I said, I do enjoy it. Really good company to work for and with at the moment. I'm in talks as well with um, D4 drivers. The, uh, the medical team and we're looking at trying to do a hundred pound cash giveaway um, to anybody that signs up for a D4 medical on their website using the code in January so in January time we're we'll trying to do a little competition for people so if you need a new medical for Fort Lift HCV, new driver, doing your new HCV driver, etc. You need the medical. Get it all through them. They've got hundreds of sites across the UK, so they can pretty much cater anywhere for you. A really good business as well. They are really good. So yeah, I'd recommend that. And as soon as I get a code available, I'll let you go. I'll let you guys know about it, and then you can go and. Um, Book your medical with d4drivers.co.uk and then hopefully somebody might win £100 after Christmas. I think that's a, a really good time of year, isn't it, to win a bit of extra cash. So, as soon as I know more about that, I'll keep you guys updated. Traffic's really bad on the other side for some reason though, isn't it? Generally, nothing on this side in terms of like congestion slowing down. The other side's really, really bad. Which means when I come back down this way, probably in about an hour, an hour and a half time, I could be joining that myself. <laughs> or a bit further down. probably would do because I'm coming from the M62 it's probably worth cutting through the A road and coming on at this junction instead of the junction further down I might do that on the way back then oh actually I might have to cut through St Helens I think that would probably be even better to be honest I think that might be a plan Right, hopefully this reverse comes out okay because when I was at the last place doing the reverse I've done a, um, a time lapse by mistake. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the yard across the way, but don't mind. I don't think anyway. I know some places do like to kick off if you do that. Guys on the fort lift, plenty of stuff. 
face the load. seem to be taking a little bit of a turn for the worse shall we say seems like the wind's picking up a little bit so i don't know if there's another storm or on the horizon or it's just gonna be crap november rain really on the way so when the wind does pick up just be careful that these buckles don't fly around whack you in the head because they are very dangerous if you're not careful so what i'm gonna do is just do one side at a time pull this one back in a second strap it up and then fill this side and then I'll move over to the other side. So just like so, got that strap down so that doesn't blow around and it keeps the curtain nice and secure. Collection's all completed. It's now 10 to four. Probably get back to the yard for around hmm, 20 to five, I reckon at this time of day. Traffic's building up pretty heavy. So I'm gonna avoid the M6, as I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna go through Sater Helens instead. I think that might be a little bit of a better option for us. through witness as well. Bloody hell, that car got a bit close to me. I suppose go cut round the corner there. Got a beautiful little sunset behind. Shame you guys can't see it. Nice yellowy colours in the sky. I'm not too sure what I'm doing tomorrow, as of yet. There's uh, still a little bit early to find out. I don't think it's going to be a night out because they've not asked for it. So it could be somewhere a little bit more local again. Roundabouts near the McDonald's. If you know which roundabout, 
you know which roundabout I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolute bloody nightmare it is, especially this time of night, traffic. Just got back to the yard now, so that is going to be me done in the next 15, 20 minutes. Just got to get unloaded. Um, so yeah, shouldn't really take too long. So I'm going to leave the video there for now. There will be another one tomorrow, don't forget, 7 p.m. Monday to Friday, I upload new videos. So if you did enjoy, don't forget that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourself, be safe, and have a great week. Bye for now.